In this video, we're going to see how to adjust differential side bearing preload and differential backlash of John Deere 644 axle. Preload is a sustained load applied to a bearing. Proper adjustment of preload is important because too much preload can cause excessive friction and heat which can lead to failure. On the other hand, too much end play can cause excessive vibration and uneven movement which can also lead to failure. Side bearing preload is controlled by shin packs under the bearing wheel. Once you remove the bearing wheel, add enough shims to obtain specified end plate. Next, install at least three cap screws and tighten to 92 foot pound. Next, rotate the differential housing six revolutions to roll in bearing cups and cones. Next, install dial indicator and force the ring gear up and down and record end play. Next, calculate the sum of the recorded end play and require preload. For example, if the end play is six thousandths of an inch and the preload is in four thousandths of an inch, the sum would be ten thousandths of an inch. Next, deduct the sum from the shin pack thickness. By doing this, we can eliminate end play and add certain amount of preload. Next, reinstall the bearing wheel. Next, check bearing rolling drag. Rotate differential at 15 to 20 RPM. Rolling drag is the force resisting the motion when a bearing rolls on a shaft. If it's not within specification, we have to either add or remove shims. Now that we finished preload adjustment, next thing we have to do is Banglash adjustment between the ring gear and the pinion gear. Banglash is the clearance between the teeth of gear in mesh. Banglash allows for thin layer of lubricant between the tooth contact surfaces and for expansion of the gear due to heat. Too little Banglash does not allow lubricant in between teeth, while too much Banglash can allow the gear to climb out of mesh and slip. As the first step, install input housing temporarily. Next, position differential in upright position. Next, rotate the differential housing until cap screw is positioned behind cast lock. Next, install banglash tools onto ring gear side. Next, install dial indicator. Next, retain input yoke and rotate differential housing back and forth using pry bar against the cap screw in the cast lock. Measure banglash in three different locations, 120 degrees apart. Average the three readings. Next, to increase banglash, remove shim from the side quill. To decrease banglash, add shims to the side quill. Next, apply Loctite 243 onto bearing quill cap screws. Lastly, tighten input housing cap screws. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you understood better about preload and backlash adjustment.